Good morning, McTavish. Today's a day two. Oh, interesting. Our first announcement today. You've heard it before, but the workout room is opening. If students would like to use the workout room before or after school, it'll be open the following days of the week. Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. to 8.15 a.m. And then Fridays on the days where there's school, 3.30 to 5. We would like to wish everyone celebrating a happy Diwali. Diwali is the festival of lights, which is the largest celebration in India. Diwali symbolizes the spiritual victory of light over darkness, good over evil, and knowledge over ignorance. Please show this video as well. H T T P S colon forward slash forward slash Y O -Y Around the world, people are lighting up the sky with fireworks and dressing up their homes with colorful decor and candles. It's Diwali, the festival of lights. The word Diwali was inspired from a Sanskrit word called Deepavali, which means rows of lit lamps. And that's why Diwali is known as the Festival of Lights. The five-day festival is celebrated every fall by Hindus, Sikhs, Jains, and some Buddhists. Hindus celebrate Diwali to rejoice Lord Ram's return home after being exiled for 14 years and defeating a king known as Ravan. Jains celebrate the festival to mark the spiritual awakening of their lord, Mahavira. Sikhs celebrate Diwali to commemorate their spiritual leader, Guru Hargobind's return to Amritsar, a city in northern India, after being imprisoned. And some Buddhists celebrate the festival to honor their emperor Ashoka's decision to follow a path of peace and converting to Buddhism, after witnessing a lot of killings. Although these four religions have different reasons for celebrating Diwali, what they all have in common is the concept of new beginnings, light over darkness, and good over evil. Diwali is celebrated with prayers, fireworks, candles lit inside of clay pots, rangolis, which are colored patterns drawn on the ground with colored rice or powder, and it's also a good reason to invite friends and family over for a big meal. Come to Debate Club Tuesday after school in Miss Haldane's room, 1160, from 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Who's the one with the microphone? It's a debate club show. <laughs> Be trained by Team Canada and learn how to argue and be correct. All are welcome. Yeah, who's the one with the microphone, huh? Don't care. Sounds like your mom jumping into a pool. <laughs> <laughs> Work experience, Google Classroom. Use code. The code doesn't work, but I mean, it, it'll be there. For more information, see... See Ms. McKechn at laura.mckechn at fmpsd.ab.ca That's how you email her. If you want to see her, you probably have to go find her. <laughs> yeah. Alright, and today, we have the fun fact. Fun fact! 12 foot tall Home Depot skeleton. And today, we have a special guest. We couldn't get Drake on, but we got our buddy Aaron with a slide whistle. Do an epic solo, Aaron. Come closer so they can Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron.